So guys, I am hanging out again here with Colin at Crosstown Exotics, uh, Crosstown Exotics Traveling Animal Show out here in the Chicagoland area. And uh, Colin, tell us a little about this guy. Yeah, uh, this is Zoe. Zoe is a green iguana. Oh, it's Zoe, so yeah. it's a she. It's actually, it's a boy, so it's a funny oh. story. So um, the former owner, when they got Zoe, uh, Zoe was a little baby. And when they're young, you really can't tell if they're a boy or a girl. They don't really have too much, uh, what they call sexual dimorphism. And as Zoe got bigger, uh, because Zoe is a boy, he's got <laughs> these really big jaws here. Um, they've got these nice, big, strong jaws, and they develop this really long dewlap, and that dewlap kind of signifies and their. Only uh, the males get that. Yes, they also have something called sexual spurs, but we'll keep Zoe's privacy to himself. <laughs> so, as as Zoe grew, it became apparent that uh, the name maybe wasn't the, the best fit. It wasn't the best fit, but you know what? We kept the name because Zoe actually responds to his name. Really? He does. Yeah, Zoe. What was his name? Yeah, Zoe free roams in my in my house. Um, he is an animal that is potty trained, so when he use, needs to use the restroom, he goes right to the shower and does his business all in the, in the shower. Your iguana is potty trained? It is potty trained. So he's actually pretty smart then. He's a very, very smart animal. Wow. Yeah. And so, okay, so um, in the wild, where would you find this guy? This animal spans from Central and South America, um, and they're even naturally invasive to uh, the southern, uh, southeast United States, so unlike in Florida. Southern Florida, so they're invasive all around there. Yep. And, uh, okay, so you have them as a pet. Do iguanas make good pets? Uh, the iguana is actually the first domesticated reptile, um, and they do make great pets as long as you know what you're getting yourself in for. This is an animal that uh, will give you all the love uh, back into your relationship. Uh, they're a very vocal species, if that makes any sense. But um, these animals are very rewarding. They uh, they do love you back. They're not like a, a snake where they're, you know, it's kind of suggestive that they do recognize you. I mean, some snakes do, but I feel like iguanas do show that they do care for you um, in some type of way. And he lets me know that through head bobbing and hand waving and whatnot. Ooh. And uh, what, do, what do you feed him? Uh, they're strictly herbivores, even though he'll grab like, um, you know, some mealworms any, er, you know, every now and then. Um, but they are strictly herbivores, so he loves eating loves dark. Yep, he'll eat dark leafy greens. Um, he loves fruits, different types of vegetables, sweet potatoes. So a nice variety in, in his vegetables. And so, how much space do you need for him? You put them in an aquarium. What do you do with? Yeah. Them? So right now, big? I let yeah. So I let Zoe free roam now. Um, we've made sure to you know basically childproof the room. But and oh, it, so he's like a cat. He wanders around. He really does. House. Yeah. Um, but this type, and he does have a cage for when you know we are going away for longer periods of time. But this animal, at the very least, needs a six-foot enclosure um, with you know a minimum of like four feet of height. Very cool. Very cool. Now, would you recommend uh, is 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 keeping an iguana a, a good beginner pet? I would or not would say iguanas say, are good beginner pets. Again, okay. because again, work your way up to that. Exactly. I would start start off with a leopard gecko or bearded dragon, um, and see if the nostalgia is still there after a couple years. But iguanas can live into their 30s. So this is an animal that you really do need to think about. Do I want an iguana that is around five to six feet um, in 20 to 30 years? Wow. So it's like a it's a life commitment. It is a life commitment. Yeah. It's not like a dog. So this guy looks really different uh, than the first guy we saw. What's his name? Yeah, so this is Jay or Jaws, um, and this is a red iguana. And you can tell he's flared up right now. He's a gorgeous species. What does flared up mean? What, uh, what flared up is, is so uh, reptiles don't change color, but they can intensify their colors or, bright, or uh, dull their colors down. So right now he's really happy to see us all, and he's displaying his beautiful colorations. Very cool. Look at that. And so, where does he normally live? Uh, in my bedroom. And you're in your bedroom? Oh, <laughs> no, where, this is a species where, where, that are where from... Where, where does his, uh, his relatives come from? Yeah, so they're from Central and South America. Very cool. Look at that colors, guys. So awesome. Wow, these iguanas come in a lot of different colors, man. Yeah, they do. Um, they, this one is called a blue iguana or an exanthic iguana. So uh, with that exanthic coloration, it, it just intensifies that green and almost makes it like a, uh, a neon blue. 
So we had one that was really red, and now he's a, he's a neon blue. Mm -hmm. And these are all derivatives from green iguanas. Now, does the color uh, the color pattern here help him in the wild? Uh, you know what? This is not a naturally occurring species. This is something that was really? developed by a breeder. Yep. So they actually bred him for this. Color. They bred it's him for bed. this this coloration. Yeah. Ah, so you this, can even. This may not be the best uh, suit to wear out um, hiding from a predator. No, not at all. You'd stick out like a sore thumb for sure. So these iguanas come in a lot of other cool colorations. We've got an albino iguana, um, but he's off doing a show right now. And uh, a couple other cool cycluras. So uh, maybe we'll see those at a later date. But these green iguanas are really cool. They're, be they're coming out with a lot of very interesting colorations for these animals. Wow, look at that. Look at that, guys. Check that out. He's a cool looking iguana. Well, thanks, Colin, for showing us this really super cool iguana. Um, Colin is out at uh, Crosstown Exotics Traveling Animal Show, and they do shows all across the Chicagoland area. So if you happen to be watching the show and you're out in the Chicagoland area, um, look up Crosstown Exotics. He does birthday parties and, and scout groups and uh, pretty much any kind of show where you, you'd want to meet a bunch of cool animals, right? Yeah, reptiles. we're, we're catered to the animal lover. So if you love reptiles, bugs, or amphibians, you know, again, look on our schedules for our, our Facebook page and our website and check us out, see where we're at. Awesome. Thanks, man. No problem. Thank you.